to begin this uh, evaluation process for the study, the patient was laid in a prone position. The spinous processes of each of the lumbar vertebrae were identified. Then the transverse processes of each of the lumbar vertebrae were also identified. Tissue texture changes were palpated for in each of the lumbar vertebrae. Where tissue texture changes were found, the uh, transverse processes then were palpated and noted for asymmetry in positions. Uh, one was noted for shallow uh, depth versus one that was deeper on one of the other, the other side. This was then tested for rotational motion to assess for a restrictive barrier or freedom of motion. A for anterior force was applied to one transverse process, then released, and then followed by a force onto the opposite transverse process and then released. Once this segment was identified as having restriction uh, of motion in one direction and freedom in the other, asthmatic dysfunction was uh, diagnosed at that point. This then was marked with a pin to, so that the ultrasonographer would know what level to come in and to do the imaging studies for the study.